hello everyone welcome back to the channel this week we are going to be reviewing the software sold by SC trading x you can find him on youtube or on instagram right now we are on his instagram page if you want to see how he uses the software and get some tips from his side and then you should go and check out his youtube channel but for now we are going to focus on the software only so i did do a video on fx sniper 24 and he was selling the same sort of system but from se trading x i got the updated version where apparently it stops the bottom indicator from repainting so that's what we are going to be going through today so right now we are on the website that can be found by clicking the link that is on his instagram page it says that the system is currently on special for 80 pounds but what I found that if you put the item in your cart and pay through PayPal, then the total comes out to £90 instead because of taxes. It's not the most transparent thing that when you see it on the website, it's £80, but when you actually have to buy it, it's £90. So something there definitely needs to change. So as I said before, this is the updated version of the FX Sniper 24 video, and it is supposedly promised that the new settings will stop repainting from happening and allow you to get more profitable trades so on his website you can see the basic description of the software where it says that there will be a first confirmation and then you'll have a second confirmation at the bottom so the first confirmation will be your arrows and the second confirmation will be those peaks that you see at the bottom of your screen we'll look at the software right now so what you can see right now on your screen is the software. We have the arrows, we have the bands, and we have at the bottom those peaks from earlier. So the non-repainting is going to come from the peaks at the bottom since I will show you the setting that you need to change. And the arrows I've seen that even though it's an updated system and when you first initialize it, it looks very spread out when you are actually looking at the chart with the indicators on it the arrows will appear quite a bit and become a bit cluttered so now we are just taking a look at the indicators list to see what's on the chart so what we need to focus on for the no repainting is the direction zone 3.0 so right now we can see that there is a option to say no to repainting so when it's false, that means that they will be repainting, but when it's set to true, the system won't repaint. And I have tested it and this is true, but there is a drawback when it comes to not repainting. And there are a lot of drawbacks to setting it to false as well. So do I think that the change that was made to the system is very helpful? No, not really. But we will get into that as we look at the results that we obtained from our back testing. So to save you the trouble of watching his YouTube videos in order to get the settings, the settings that he said that you should put on is for the custom indicator SE, which is the arrows, you should set the distribution one to negative 14 and the distance you should set to 0.55 for indices and 0.35 for currency pairs so if you bring your attention to the trades that just happened now on us 30 on the one hour time frame you'll see that at the bottom it shows that there were two trading opportunities the first being the sell over here and the second being the buy over here and this is with the se trading version 2.0 direction zone 3.0 thing being set to repainting allowed so what you will notice is that when repainting is allowed there will be quote unquote more trading opportunities but the failure of the system comes for when you aren't in a ranging market it's the same as the belly fx indicators that showed you where the highest and lowest points are in the market if you are setting the parameter to be able to repaint that means that for every higher trade or lower trade, the indicator at the bottom of here will just keep adjusting in order to keep itself correct. So then 
at that point it becomes useless since it's not actually helping you decide on whether or not you would like to place a trade. So now we have the strategy tester open to just show you what I mean when I say that when the market is trending towards the upside or downside the bottom indicator becomes a bit useless and that the arrows do get clumped up when you are actually looking at the live chart. So as you can see on the chart right now there is a bit of clumping happening over here already and we have the first indication that we need to sell so i'm just gonna let this play out for you guys so now we can see that the peak has moved from being in line with this to shifting over to here so what you're seeing is that the peak is constantly moving with all the arrows that are appearing so in this sort of case i think that the bottom indicator really becomes a bit useless so now we need to see what happens when we change that um, setting from being false to true so here we are in the indicators parameters and we're going to change this value from being false to being true meaning that there's going to be no repainting so as soon as we turn that on that peak disappears and let me just put this down so we can see where the chart actually is versus when the indicator actually shows you that you can buy or sell so here we are on the 7th of september 2021 at 11 o'clock and the indicator only appeared on the 3rd of September around 8 o'clock. So is this useful when it comes to trading in this area over here? So yes, there is no repainting happening, but the indicator is only showing itself far over on this side when the chart has already moved until over here. So it was explained that if you are going to use the bottom indicator, and set it to false that means that you should be day trading and scalping but if you are going to set it to true and then you should be swing trading um, which means that you're going to be holding the trades for the whole week so since the indicator is very delayed that means that to actually use the system i had to try and create my own sort of thing so what i did was i used the indicator and the point that it's under as a reference point to say that okay the system has now decided that this is the highest point in the market so now i'm going to be looking for sell opportunities so to actually use it as a reference point this is an example that we're going to go through now the reference points over here this is with the no repaint system set to true so it appeared after the market went somewhere around here so as we see that the market breaks through the low over here that is when we should solve and that's basically how i use the system on my own so because we can't actually trade immediately when the indicator appears you can't just sell at any random point you have to have a bit of structure that's what i normally waited for so if it was a sell i'd normally wait for the, the market to go through a low or if it was a buy i'd normally wait for the market to go through a buy so during the back testing i did trade on every single peak just to give an accurate reading of what someone that doesn't know what they are doing would be able to gain from using the system so what you see in front of you right now is the backtested results from the September to December months and the take profit that I used was 600 pips. I did use a larger take profit since it was recommended that when you use the bottom indicator with the setting set to true then you should try and swing trade or have a larger take profit and this was done on Euro USD. So it was a currency pair, so 600 pips did feel right. If it was an indice, then 600 pips wouldn't be too much. You need to adjust it to something like 1,500 or 2,000. The stop loss I chose was just half of the take profit at 300 pips. So from what you can see over here, the win rate for the system was around 65%. We had 9 winning trades and 5 losing trades giving us a total pips take profit of 3,900 and when you convert that over to rands you got 604 rand. Also do keep in mind that this was over a period of 4 months from September to December. So there wasn't much trading opportunities when it came to using the indicator parameter set to true since the system would quote unquote verify the levels. But also through this process you could end up waiting a couple weeks before the 
indicator appears so when the indicator does actually appear with that peak it would be lagging so it would show up on yesterday's trading day and then you would need to use that information in order to trade today so when you watch his um youtube video on how to use the system he had it on set to false and then as soon as there was a double confirmation of the trade and then he would take it so in this instance it would be in this area over here this is when he would place his trade and he showed on his youtube channel that it was profitable immediately he did also say that there could be fake outs and so on but when you put the option of making it non-repaintable I do assume that that means that the indicator isn't going to be lagging so that we wouldn't need to use past information in order to make a trade now. The indicator itself should appear like when you set it to false but it should have already used all of its algorithms to predict where the market would be going. But that is just my two cents on how I feel about the system and what it should be doing. I will give the system a rating of 6 out of 10 since we were still able to make a profit but it's definitely not for beginners to use. But as always the software will be given away for free and you are able to backtest the system for yourself and see if it fits your strategy. You can also go over to his YouTube channel and then get some advice from him because I do know that he has a lot of information videos that you can use. But if you are going to go to his page, just remember he's the person selling the software so of course he's not going to say anything bad about it. We are now over at the Forex Reviews SA YouTube channel. If you want more content such as this, please subscribe. For the download of the SE Trading System 2.0, all you need to do is click into the robot review of the NAS Killer Pro 3.0 robot. And then in the description of this video, you will find the link to the Google Drive. And from there, you will be able to download all the indicators that you need. Thank you for watching this week's video. Goodbye.